Hello there guys, and Oil Airsoft, uh, here to revise my video about the uh, magnetic gearbox. This time I have diagrams up, so y'all can get a clear visual of uh, what I'm talking about. And right now you'll be seeing a standard version 2 gearbox in front of you. The three circles represent where the bushings go, and the black dots are screw holes. And, whew, I'm tired, and uh... Here it is with the uh, spring guide inside, normal spring guide, normal piston, and th these are the two elements you need to uh, you know, your gearbox work per properly, not really properly, but for the function, you need those two parts. Here's with a spring inside. I don't know if you can see the red lines or not, but they're there, and they're representing the spring. And it's really coiled up which means that there's even tension after the system's disengaged when the uh, piston is forward and there's no pressure on the spring guide but there is because the spring is too long for the gearbox and here is where the problem is uh, starting to occur when you take apart your gearbox because you have pre-existing pressure even if it is disengaged you still have pressure pushing back on you and the way to counter this is you get the screwdriver method and put it in there and pull it out but still you still wreck your gears inside and here's where the problem really starts happening is when your piston is uh, engaged when you take your gearbox apart this cramps up your spring and it wears a uh, puts tons and tons of pressure on your piston if you have a plastic piston it might break if you leave it there for a certain amount of time because the last gear is holding on and it's the uh metal gear you see in front of it, the little piston teeth, that little thing. I broke one before. It's very easy to do. And when you take apart your gearbox, this will happen. If you don't have a screwdriver inserted or if your hand slips and if you're not pushing down on top of the uh, cylinder. It'll fly back, stuff will go everywhere, your uh, spring guide will shoot across the room and probably hit a TV or something. Probably just a wall if you're in a tight spot. And here's my idea. In the red, you'll see uh, this is your new power source. This is actually the uh, magnetic device I am a, uh, I am talking about. And you can tell why I have a color red because this is positive. I mean negative, negative. Uh, crap, right the colors. But I think this is a negative. No, this is positive for sure. Positive. Yeah. No, no, no. And, and right here, there's no tension. None at all. Because there's no spring pushing back on top of the uh, spring guide. And that little gap right here just represents uh, this free space, free floating. Your uh, guide's in the gearbox. i look at this one. Yeah, we'll have a little guide for your piston already there. So you, you still do not need a spring for it to actually stay on track with the uh, gears in your gearbox and the piston teeth and here's with the uh, you're trying to take it apart with your uh, screwdriver there still be tension if your bolt is back I mean not your bolt but your piston is caught back and your screwdriver will help you and this way is more effective because when you pull out this uh, gearbox trying to take it apart, the only thing you'll have coming out at you will probably be just a spring guide. And I'll just call it the piston guide now because there's no spring in there. And uh, right here is just where it has a uh, indicating where that's the only two parts you'll have is the screwdriver and the piston and the spring guide. And I uh, hope this is a little more clear to you guys and I hope y'all or someone out there sees this idea and tries to make a patent on it because I've been trying to make a prototype but I really can't because I don't have the access to these powerful magnets I don't want them to be rare earth magnets because they're expensive and might raise the cost of the actual airsoft gun but if you do use a magnet just use the uh, factory made things like going to electric motors and things <sighs> because uh, I want uh, like upgradable parts. Like if you want more FPS, 
all you have to do is just change out your uh, spring guide or just piston guide and just change it out with a higher uh, resistance on the piston or you can do another way which is you can probably get inserts for a piston you can change out the magnet in there well it should be easier just to change your uh, piston guide spring guide whatever because it's just more easier to access and you don't have to take anything out it's just the whole piece is nothing but a magnet covered in some kind of coating to help protect it can swear in oils so uh, yeah this is very clean for your gun there's no binding you don't have to worry about ball bearings no more it's at least for the uh, spring guide but for your piston head you might need them because of some piston heads do require that and they spin freely which will make your yourself and more efficient and uh hope y'all uh give five stars and tell everybody about this and spread it around and yeah so see y'all later